It's like, what else can y'all create? Cause I'm gonna buy it. What up, peeps? Welcome to The Game Fix. Whether it's your first time or you've been here multiple times before, hey, girl, hey. I'm back with an iPhone unboxing. You guys, I have not done an iPhone video since, I don't even know what year that was, but it was when I unboxed the iPhone X or 10, however they refer to it, I don't remember. So I recently upgraded. I have been rocking with the iPhone 11 Pro and you know, she been doing me really well. I skipped 12 and I decided I wanted to upgrade to the 13 Pro. So I just got it yesterday. Here she is. I have a new to me color. Well, I think this is like a brand new color for Apple also. And it's the um, Sierra Blue, I believe is what it's called. So I have that and I'm excited to unbox her for y'all. I even started and then was like, ooh, I should make a video. So here we are. I also bought accessories to go with this. We literally spent a million dollars at Apple yesterday. Not necessarily a million, but we kind of re-upped on things because we have all Apple devices in this house and I feel like every other day we're losing a charger. So I re-upped and I bought new chargers. I bought the um, charging blocks here, the USB-C um, 20 watt power adapter so i bought four of those and four cords to go with them and then i realized that oh they don't give you power blocks with the new phones these days so i feel like i should have bought an extra power block to have for my phone <sighs> it's annoying i thought i had created the solution and now i'm like man i still need more because for whatever reason our chargers keep disappearing i blame the kids so anyway let's get into this unboxing because i am excited about it Oh, did I tell you the rest of the accessories that I got? I didn't, but I'll get into those a little bit later. All right, here we go. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. She's so pretty. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Y'all, this blue is everything. Can you guys see that blue? It is so pretty. Oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It's like, it kind of matches my table here, but it's it's like a sky blue, but not quite, like right up under baby blue. You know, baby blue is kind of like loud. It's not as loud as that. It's kind of like a muted blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. And they have these um, really pretty, shiny sides which thank god for cases because i got fingerprints on them already but look at how shiny and pretty that is oh my goodness so yeah it looks pretty standard compared let me take mine out of the case here i had the um the green uh iPhone 11 because I just loved it even though you could never see it because of the color case that I wore on it you couldn't really see the green at all um, but I love how they have kind of squared out the um, phone volume buttons are still the same off button down here we've got the lightning cord and all that that is still the same and then on the other side so yeah I don't even know what this is. What is this? What is this right here? I have absolutely no idea what that is. But, yeah. I'm not sure. You can see that the lenses are way bigger. And it is slight big, slightly bigger. Like, just a little bit bigger in terms of height. It's just a tad bit bigger, as you can see there. So, anyway. Let's get into this. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's just, it's just so dirty already from my fingerprints. I can't take it, but here we go. Oh, this part, look. Oh, she's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna set the phone down and show you what else is in the box, which is basically nothing because they don't give you anything anymore. So all we have is the cord um the lightning cord and same little apple packet here you've got the sim card um 
needle i don't really know what you call it and then one apple sticker so they don't even give you as many apple stickers as they used to give you just one little ranky dang sticker dang they was like we couldn't back sheesh as much as i paid for this phone give me all the stickers okay all of them i never use them anyway like have never used one apple sticker let me know in the comments below if you guys use your apple stickers because i never know what to put them on so i typically just throw them away so i am really glad that i bought the block to go with this because i would have been upset which is crazy so i went with my grandmother to buy a phone for her a couple months ago got the phone got home set it up and everything and realized we did not have a charging block so this was my first introduction to not getting a charging block with a new phone i was like is that how they doing these days because i feel like i got a charging block with my 11 pro so apparently like across you know all phones they're doing that now so don't forget to buy a charging block if you need an extra one but if you got one an old one you still good so let's see here i want to try the case before i even like turn it on or anything i'm going to try the case because i decided to get an iPhone case, case, which I don't normally do. I got the um, 13 Pro leather case MagSafe. So like MagSafe is this new thing where it's like magnetic and you can just charge it by laying it down. And then they have like a magnetic battery pack, which I also got. So yeah, and I got it in this color, which is Wisteria, I believe is the name of it. It's really pretty on the package Ooh. oh she's cute okay oh she's really cute she's like a she's purple but not like purple purple if that makes sense it's kind of like a and i've never even seen their leather cases before it's like nice and it feels suede on the inside i've never noticed that well i've never had one of these before but it's a smooth letter it's got like raised buttons on the side for the volume that's nice and one on the other side as well hmm so let's pop this baby in here because i'm going to go crazy with my fingerprints all over the freaking shiny sides <clears throat> Ooh. oh that's cute oh i like it you can kind of see like the blue under there that's cute i'm a fan i wish that they had better leather case options but doesn't that look really cute it's super sleek come on come on now oh and let me tell you something it is a little bit heavier than my 11 pro like the weight on this bad boy i tried um i had to actually go to the store and pick it up and i tried the pro max and that mug felt like it was about five pounds. I was like, why is it so heavy? I have not been able to go back to the bigger phones since they first introduced them. What model was that when they introduced the big phone? Was it the nine? I don't remember what it was, but I haven't had a max since then just because I felt like I couldn't get my, I couldn't get my thumb across the whole thing to be able to use it with one hand and that was bothersome to me do you guys like the pro max or the pro version better or are you just like an iphone you don't even want the pro let me know so this is really cute i'm a fan of this case i am oh and it comes up a little bit too because i was a little concerned about if it came up enough to protect the screen because i tend to drop my phone quite often and i don't like screen protectors because they just bother me so i was a bit concerned like is it gonna have enough of a lip to protect the screen when i drop it and it looks like it does i don't know if you guys can tell but it's not like lush if that makes sense i don't know hopefully y'all understand what i'm what i'm trying to say there i am such a fan oh my goodness so let's turn her on Ta -da. So while she's turning on, let me put this stuff back and show you what else I got. So I had mentioned that I got the um, MagSafe iPhone battery pack. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Hello. Oh, man, I missed it. Talking to y'all. It's got this pretty cursive writing. Can you guys see that? Oh, man, go back to hello. Go back to English. We're going to have to watch it all over again. But how pretty is that? I feel like that's the last thing I'm waiting for Apple to do is to change the font options. Like, I want pretty 
script font options for things. Like, look at that bonjour. That is so cute. I want all of the script. Like, can I have that? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. All right, so let's swipe up here. Go for English. Select my region, I'm in the United States. Quick start, so bring your iPhone or iPad near to set up the sign up, waiting for the other. So I have to hold my phone on top of that and like line it up. I'm sure you guys have all seen this before. Finish on new iPhone, okay? Enter passcode and it's setting up. I don't know how long this is gonna take. I feel like this is the part that takes a long time. Oh no, I think transferring the the data is what takes a long time because Babe did his earlier and it took about an hour or so for it, everything to transfer over. Um, so the new cool thing about these is that they have this eSIM, which I've never heard of before. And apparently you can have like two lines. You can even have a business line all connected to the same SIM card. So this does not have a new SIM card. I have to call my carrier and activate the eSIM. Um, so that is different for me. I don't know if that was the same with the iPhone 12 or not. So anyway, let's get back to this battery pack, which is the um, MagSafe battery pack. And what, I guess what is supposed to happen is you just stick it on the back of your phone. I don't know if you have to stick it on the back outside of the case. I'll take the paper off. That's cool. That's like the MagSafe symbol. Well, that's cute. I wonder, does it work on the, oh. So I guess it does work on the, um, see, it just, it hangs. It's just on there, which is pretty convenient because now I don't have to have like a separate portable charger for my phone. I can just use this bad boy. Okay, okay, Apple. Come on, Apple. They give me every time, I swear. It's like, what else can y'all create? Cause I'm gonna buy it. Like, what else? Are these instructions? Y'all know I need a manual? What, how do I use this bad boy? It's probably just easy enough to pop it on there. But I need like legit instructions. Cause did it start charging? Let me see, did it start charging? When I put it on there? It didn't start charging. So I feel like there's something I'm gonna need to do with this. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. It also did not come with a lightning cord, which clearly it needs. Ugh, I tell you, boy, they just be taxing. All right, so let me set up this face ID. Position your face in the camera frame and move your head in a circle to show all angles of your face. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, let me position my head. Okay, move slowly. Second, scan complete, face ID, now set up. Easy enough. I love face ID, it's literally the best thing that they could have come up with, legit. So, okay, now we've come to the part where I can transfer my data. So, you can either do a direct transfer or you can finish downloading it later so you can download from the iCloud or you can transfer from iPhone. Transfer time, it says about one hour and 45 minutes. Do I wanna download from iCloud? Then I can start using my phone in about 15 minutes. I feel like I would rather just download from um, from the iCloud. Like, isn't that the whole purpose of having the iCloud is to be able to download from it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited about it. Let me show you the last accessory that I purchased because I don't want this to be a super long video. And it is the MagSafe Duo Charger. So this charger you can use to charge both your iPhone and your watch at the same time. And I just thought that it was the coolest thing. So let's, that didn't open the way that it should have. Let's check it out. Oh, it's bigger than I thought it would be. Like, way bigger than I thought it would be. I don't know why it just looks so small on the website, but I like it too because it's super compact and it's kind of bright, but it's super duper compact there. Like it literally like fits the size of my palm. That's kind of how big it is. Um, this is nice, okay. 
and it's convenient because now when I travel, I don't, this is another cord that I don't need. I don't need the Apple charger cord to come with me. So it's like knocking away two divide, two, you know, chargers with one. Does that make sense? Yeah, getting rid of two chargers and putting them in one. So, because I already have a million cords when I travel. So this is great. I am super excited about this. It comes with the lightning cord. Of course, it doesn't come with a block. Ugh, annoyed, annoyed, <laughs> can you tell? Um, and I don't give you no stickers with this bad boy neither. Oh, this is so cool. So I think this lifts up. Yeah, this part lifts up. So you can, um, let me take my watch off. It can just sit like that and charge like that. That's pretty cool, I like that. And then you just lay your phone on here like that. And it's, I mean, it's it's magnetic, it's on there. It ain't falling. <laughs> I like that, that's pretty cool. So then I can just lay this right next to my bed. I used to have the, um, the Belkin stand-up charger where you would put the watch on there and then stick your phone in the um, port, but then my port broke. So I had to just charge my phone and then I still use it for my watch. So now I can get rid of it completely because it's not, it's not even working right and just use this. So yeah, I think that that's everything. Everything that I have, um, all the accessories, I might as well open the block. Not that y'all have never seen an Apple charging block before, but why not? <clears throat> yeah. Simple little block. It's cute. I like these way better than the old ones. I like the USB-C ones because they're sleek. They're not as, you know, square as the other ones. All right, guys. So I think that that is it. That is everything. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing, give you like my first impression of the iPhone 13 Pro. And I love it. She's so pretty. I'm in love with this beautiful script writing. And I'm sad to set it up because I probably won't see it anywhere else on the phone. Um, but this case, super cute. Shout out to Apple for this leather joint. I love this purple. I mean, this purple is like... Oh, it is so beautiful. And the blue on the phone, I mean. Let me know if you guys wanna see another video of what's on my iPhone because I haven't done a what's on my iPhone video in a really, really long time. And with the introduction of iOS 14, I started playing around with the uh, customized like app icons and stuff. So like, where's my phone? Let me show you. So this is what my iPhone 11 looks like now. And I started fooling around with like widgets and all that good stuff. So if you would like to see a what's on my iPhone and, you know, figure out how to set up widgets and all of that good stuff, let me know. And I will try to get that done for you guys. Also, I'm ready to come back to this channel. So if you're ready to see more videos, let your girl know what you want to see down below. Tell me, are you team Apple? Are you team Android? Did you upgrade? Did you get an iPhone 13? Which one did you get? All of the things. Of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can also leave those down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.